Uptown Local Rest Association, one solar panel and one energy audit at a time together. <laughs> Olivia, we, we caught Olivia in our, in our hero net uh, today. I'm Sue Dexter from the Harvard Village Residents Association, uh, which has a catchment of Bloor to college and Spadina to bathrooms. We've been involved uh, for several years now on, on, in local projects. Uh, we had Downtown West Solar Energy uh, Project, and uh, we installed $500,000 worth of solar uh, uh, PV and solar hot water in, in the neighborhood. And, uh, and we were working up about a year and a half ago on Bloor Street to fix Bloor Street and to, uh, to make Bloor Street sustainable. And we got into the notion of what is going on at a neighborhood level in terms of energy waste, energy conservation. We know that we have a community that was, that was built 100, well, it's 130 years, uh, my house is 1885. So we, we sat down, we figured the easiest thing to do would be to put together a program to, uh, which we call the HERO program, the Home Energy Retrofit uh, Opportunity Program. And what we were going to do was we were going to tap into, into energy audits as everybody else, I mean we're all reinventing the same wheel in the room, tap into the energy audits. Uh, we'd select an energy audit firm, uh, we'd get uh, audit reports back, we'd know what the carbon footprint is of, of the neighborhood based on extrapolations from, from Toronto Hydro and, and from, uh, from the gas company. So we'd have our baseline. Then we'd, uh, we'd, we'd sell energy audits in the neighborhood at a discount because we could give them a bulk rate. Uh, with the supplier of the energy audit. And then we were going to, on the, on, the, on the turn, we were going to give a small grant for people to do uh, an upgrade. And we thought that was the end of the project. It wasn't like that at all. We got a grant from the city, Live Green Toronto, $25,000, $20,000 I think they gave us in the end. Uh, and, and we started work, and the first issue was selecting a, an energy audit firm, which we did through an RFP process. And that was very successful, and we've been very, very happy with the energy auditor that we chose, Carson Dunlop. And I have some of their cards. If you're not in our catchment, um, I'll give you cards. And, and if you are in our catchment, I would urge you to sign a, a sign-up sheet. And, and what happened was the board went first, the Harvard Village Residents Association board. So we started getting reports back and we thought what we need to do is we need to, uh, to put together an analysis of all the reports we get to find out what exactly is the situation in the neighborhood. And it's very interesting. We've analyzed 25 home audits and we can save on average 4.14 tons of greenhouse gases a year. That's per house. So we're, we're, we're not great. We have the equivalent on average of a 22 square inch hole in the side of the house open 24-7, 365 days a year. 22 square inches. Dum, dum. And it's open. All the time, no, in four, all the seasons. Four by five inches. Not, not no, 22 square inches. No, no, 22 inches square. On the square. Yeah. So, like 22 big. times 22 is <laughs> Like big. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, then 3,333 centimeters squared, if, if that makes sense. How much? 3,333 centimeters squared. Okay, fine. Okay, so numbers are not my strength, but policy and, and, and the rest of it. I'm, I'm, I get very impassioned about these things. Anyway, what was interesting about it was when we came to look at what was wrong with the houses in the neighborhood, it turned out that the... I'll 
give you a, I'll give, okay, let's do a guessing game. Do you think it was windows? Do you think we needed windows? Who would <laughs> say windows? Somebody, I've got a taker for windows. Okay, would you say doors were leaking? Would you think furnaces? New furnaces. You think we need, oh, we've got a furnace over there. How about um, walls? Wall insulation. You go for wall, oh, big wall insulation. Basement insulation. How about, oh, there's basement. I think probably when I go through this list, everybody's running through their house thinking, oh, it's going to be, yeah, it's the basement. <laughs> okay. What turns out to be just no-brainer, winds hands down, is air sealing. Air sealing. Low-tech. Cheap. Person with a caulking gun around the window trim. Can you believe that? Air sealing. These are the numbers that are generated out of our home energy audit reports. So, that, I mean, we can't. This, we've, we've analyzed 25. We've, we've got an average grant uh, they can get is, is $5,913. So, there's work to be done in the houses. But the cheapest, no brain work with a caulking gun and a bit of foam in, the, in your electric plugs is going to is going to get you 12% reduction in, in 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 your greenhouse gas gas emissions or your energy bill. So that suggests to me that when people are walking around saying the city of Toronto is trying to get to 2020 by you know, 2020 whatever it is 20% reduction, 12% of it is in at the end of a parking gun. <laughs> I mean it's. And we're at a very different level from you guys with the MERVs, and it's all very complicated, and your big boilers and the rest of it. 